Hi, this is Peter Vestinos, and today I'd like to show you my method for keeping mint fresh on the bar top. This has actually become known as the Vestinos method, and it's something I came up with a few years ago after actually many years of trial and error. Uh, I have this theory that when a customer comes into a bar, your bar should clearly communicate what you're all about to that guest. Uh, if you're a wine bar or a beer bar, that should be very clear. If you focus on a particular spirit, such as bourbon, tequila, or gin, that should be very clear. And they should also kind of know what price point or quality level they're at based on your back bar. But the front bar should also communicate a story. If you come in and you see uh, great bar tools, if you see dasher bottles, if you see beautiful garnishes, you probably know that bar is executing at a little bit of a higher level. And you can probably ask for a great cocktail there. Um, and the king of all garnishes is, of course, the mint. But the struggle has always been, how do you keep it fresh on a bar top? Typically, when you pull mint out of the fridge and you keep it out, it starts to wilt right away. This is only after about 20 minutes of sitting out. This mint is dead. So I've come up with a method to keep mint looking this bright, this fresh, this green through your entire service. All right, so let me show you how we do. So typically, when you get mint in to your bar, I'll come in a clamshell like this, one pound. Uh, so it's in plastic, and then another plastic bag. And this is really how light, mint likes to be stored uh, when you're keeping it in the walk-in. I see some people take it out sometimes and wrap it in a paper towel, or put it inside of a fish box. Really just keep it inside that plastic box. That's the best way it will stay. Uh, from there, you start, want to start grabbing some bunches of mint. And the way I typically work is I'll put this down. And then my left hand will be kind of where I collect the bunches of mint, or the stems of mint. And then with my right hand, I kind of peel off the bottom leaves, because what we're really interested in are the, the crowns. Uh, the leaves will keep, I'll show you what to do with those. So just keep working away. And you want to collect a good sized bunch. Sometimes you won't have to clean them at all. Uh, sometimes you'll need to clean a lot. All right, so let's keep those leaves off to the side. Um, and you want to work till you get a bundle that's uh, going to pretty much fill up this cup. Once you've done that, you're going to plunge it head down into a cambro full of ice. All right. Here's one I did earlier. All right. So what this is doing is it's locking all the oils into the mint leaves. That's really what we're after, uh, are these precious, beautiful oils. Um, and the cold water is locking that into the leaf, but it's also really firming up the leaf a little bit more. Um, helping it to become a little bit more of a bright green color. And then I'm going to give this a, a really good shake uh, just to get the water off, but also to open up the leaves again. Just like that. Um, so, next step is I'm going to take these leaves and I'm going to cut them uh, at an angle, just like I would fresh cut flowers. So, angle like that. And really that's about as tall as I want them, about two, two and a half inches. Um, any longer, it might, uh, you might struggle to put into your glass when you're garnishing it. So really just keep it as tall as you need it to go into the glass. From there, I'm gonna put it into a cup with some hot water. Uh, I prefer using a julep cup. I think it just looks better on the bar top. I'm not seeing what's going on inside there. The metal helps me retain the temperature a little better, where a glass will lose the temperature a lot faster. And then from there, I'm gonna add some hot water. The question always is, how hot should the water be? Um, I like to say, if you stick your finger in there and you feel really comfortable, like you could sit in there like it was a bath, that's too cold. If you put your finger in there and you pull it out right away because it's too hot, that's too hot. That's gonna, that's gonna um, torch the, uh, the mint leaves. You just wanna put your finger in there and, and it's hot and it's not comfortable, but you're not pulling your finger back out of there too fast. Um, and I just put enough water in there just to get to the bottom of the stems. I don't want it to hit the leaves. That's gonna burn the leaves as well. So just plunk it down there. Uh, so step one, uh, putting into the cold water, locked all the oils into the leaves, uh, giving us a greener color. This step, uh, the leaves are gonna pull up all the hot water and they're gonna become really nice and firm. This I've, I did probably about four hours ago and you can see how bright and green it still is. When it's on the bar top at night, you don't have to change out the water. Um, you don't have to recut it. This will stay. This is good all night. Now with these leaves, um, you can still use these obviously. Uh, say if you're, you're making drinks with muddled mint, 
you don't always have to keep going back to your mint and pulling off uh, leaves from the stem every time you need to muddle something. You can keep these uh, in a deli um, behind the bar. So what I would do is I would take these and I'd put them into a Cambro just uh, with ice water, just like we did the first bunch. Um, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to dry them off a little bit. I'm not going to put any hot water on there. The mint leaves don't need any hot water. Uh, and then I would just put them into a deli container and cover them up with a damp towel. From there, I would just keep them down uh, in my ice. And every time I need a mint leaf, uh, these will stay firm. These will stay bright. Uh, the oils will be locked into them. I can just grab a bunch there and muddle from there without having to go back and pull my mint, mint off the stems on the bar top. And really for me, this is advertisement for the bar. Uh, this bag of mint cost me about $7, $8. Uh, I can probably get about 8 to 10 heads of mint out of there. So for around a dollar a bunch, I can really uh, express to my guests that we have a very fresh, healthy looking bar and we're executing at a little bit of a higher level. Um, and your guests will always appreciate seeing some fresh mint on the bar top. So that was the Vestinos Method with me, Peter Vestinos. Thank you.